Anytime you do any type of major work on a valve, such as changing the trim or changing the valve action, you should always make a final inspection and test of the valve. Refer to the valve specification sheet and check the starting air and closing air. Also, make certain the action of the valve is correct. Verify that the actuator action is correct. See that the valve is seated at the correct input signal. Be sure the packing is snug. Lubricate the valve. And check the valve for hysteresis. Be sure the top section and lubricators are oriented correctly. If the valve has a fail-safe feature, check it. Finally, make sure the valve is tagged properly. Let's review some of the safety aspects associated with control valve maintenance. First, never make any adjustments to the valve that would alter its positions and upset the process. If you must move the valve stem, request that the valve be blocked and bypassed. Always wear protective equipment when working on or removing a valve that contains hazardous material. If you send a control valve to the shop for repairs, always flush it out and red tag it so the shop personnel will know to wear protective equipment when handling and working on it. Never loosen the packing if the valve is in service. Never put lubricant into a lubricator unless you close the lubricator valve. Do not remove the actuator from a valve unless the valve is depressured. The force of the flow acting upon the plug can make the plug slam open or closed. Always relieve spring tensions and air pressures before you disassemble a valve or actuator. Never overpressure an actuator, either with signal pressure or air supply pressure. Never put your hands inside a stuck control valve. Now work exercise 12 in your workbook.